Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly forecast uh, for July 11th through the 17th. I'm setting the intention for this seven day period of time. However, um, you might see this video a few weeks from now, a few months from now. You're gonna see it whenever you're meant to see it. So keep that in mind. We're gonna connect and see what's coming up. And keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is gonna resonate. And that's okay, my darlings. Take what does and leave what doesn't. So without further ado, let's see what's coming up here for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. One more shuffle. All right, that feels right. Let's get right on into it. We're gonna move the camera just a little bit closer and delve into the cards. Okay, my dears. So the first card coming up is the Magician. And this could be both Gemini and Virgo energies. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo at this time. If or somebody with Gemini or Virgo placements, maybe they're not Gemini or Virgo in their sun sign, but they might be Gemini or Virgo in their moon, rising, or Venus. If you have Gemini or Virgo placements, you may be having big changes or shifts happening for you in those areas of your life or in those houses. Now, this is a major arcana card. So the major arcana cards are going to come up anytime that we're at a significant new chapter in our life. It's a significant crossroads. It's a defining moment. So even though I'm setting the intention to read for a period of seven days when we have major arcana cards it's telling us the things that are happening for you in the next seven days are setting a series of events in motion keep in mind pisces you all are very much ruled by the moon and affected by the lunar cycles and the energy of the moon and we are coming into a full moon this week and so this full moon um, can be a really powerful time for manifesting for a lot of you Pisces. In fact, the Magician is a card about manifesting. I sometimes refer to the Magician very affectionately as the dumpster fire card because this is a card that was stalking me no matter how many times I pulled cards, no matter how many times I changed decks. There was a time that I would shuffle, 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 and I'd keep getting the Magician card. And at that time, my life was an absolute dumpster fire, and it would get on my nerves. I'm like, is the universe making fun of me? Because this is a happy card, and my life is not happy right now. At least that's how I understood it at the time. And so what I understand now is the Magician card is coming up to tell you you're in a time of rapid manifestation right now. You're coming into a cycle of rapid manifesting. And so this is saying, pay attention to where you have your focus because that's what's going to end up happening for you. That's what's going to end up coming in for you. So make sure that your attention and your focus is on what you want instead of what you don't want. Also, some of you may be embarking on this journey and you're like, man, I really don't know if I'm going to find everything that I need or if I'm going to have all the resources. And sometimes I see the sun card come up in the way where, I'm not the sun card, I'm sorry, the magician card come up in the way where you're manifesting those resources along the way or things are just falling into place or coming together for you. When the magician card comes up, you may also see a lot of uh, repeating angel numbers, uh, 222, 444, 1111, 555, 777. You may see like a spirit animal or a specific sign, uh, butterflies, pennies. Um, I know for me, <laughs> uh, when I'm coming into big changes, I tend to find quarters everywhere. Um, so it could be something like that. And this is just the way your angels and guides are saying, hey, you know, stay focused. You're manifesting right now. You're calling things into your life right now. Stay focused on what you want. Stay on track, stay on mental track. Um, that could be a message coming in here for some of you. Now, the next card coming in for our Pisces friends. <laughs> a 
it's you. <laughs> it's the moon, <laughs> right? Uh, so this could be Pisces or Cancer energy, right? Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, it could just be you coming into your Pisces energy. As we're coming into the full moon, you may really be feeling those vibes. And I'm just going to say this like it is, Pisces. Um, and I feel for you as a water sign. I'm not a Pisces. I don't really have any significant Pisces placements. But as a water sign and as a Scorpio, as someone who feels very deeply, uh, I know it's not fun. But I feel that this particular full moon, a lot of you Pisces are going to have a very massive release a very big release and i feel it's going to be like this massive clearing like layers and layers of stuff decades of stuff that you've been pushing down is coming to the surface to be cleared and to just get out of the way because these are the very things that have been blocking you if you feel like you've been very blocked financially or you feel you've been very blocked in love these are the very things that have been blocking you and they're coming to the surface and your angels and guides are helping you get them out of your system so that you're able to manifest all of these things that you're manifesting. You're manifesting and releasing at the same time. So this is going to be intense emotionally. Be gentle with yourself. If you have the ability to manage your appointments and your calendar and your schedule, Try to keep the week of the 11th through the 17th as light as possible. Don't try to pack too much into this week ahead, if at all possible. Now, um, I do feel that the main thing that Pisces are going to be releasing, and this is coming in intuitively, I feel fear, anxiety, uh, and sorrow, like grief. I feel these are the three main things you're letting go of. So be gentle with yourself you may need a lot of naps you may need to take a good old sea salt bath um that can be very helpful that can be very healing and clearing uh and just let yourself ride out those emotions as they come to the surface as they come to the surface let yourself feel them let yourself get them out and then give yourself some kind of aftercare something to soothe and comfort yourself after you've had this emotional release okay you're manifesting big big things right now so you're going to have a big big clearing to make room for all of that energetically the next card that's coming up here for pisces is the hierophant holy cannoli pisces this is a big week this is a big week heck if it were me <laughs> I would try to cancel my appointments and stay in bed as much as possible. Because um, I know for me, when I release, I can get very tired, very achy. Um, now, this is good. This is positive with the Hierophant here. Uh, this could be Taurus energy. If you have Taurus placements, there could be big changes or shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus that's going to be very significant on your journey here. Uh, maybe especially in terms of like mindset and thought processes and, uh, you know, mind over matter and thinking more positively. Um, uh, or somebody with Taurus placement, somebody who is Taurus moon, Taurus rising, uh, or Taurus Venus. Now, the Hierophant is a card about truth and commitment and tradition um, a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance readings uh, and so sometimes hierophant gets typecast as a marriage card and to have the moon coming in with the hierophant tells us some of you may be releasing a uh, fear of commitment maybe some of you have fear of commitment and this is something that you're going to be releasing and healing at this time some of you may be manifesting um, someone whom you're wanting to commit to or to get married to um, or to heal um, fidelity issues within an existing relationship. Uh, the Hierophant also comes up for me in my readings when you may be coming into a time where you're going to have to make some big decisions and you may not have a lot of time to ponder 
those decisions. And I don't know if, if you're a Pisces who's indecisive or if you're a Pisces who you really like to take your time before you make a decision. Hierophant can sometimes come up for me to say, look, you're not going to have that time, right? The window of opportunity is limited here. Or you're being presented with a situation that has an expiration date of some kind, whether it's a, 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 an offer for housing or work or collaboration or a relationship, whatever it might be. The window may have an expiration date. And so the Hierophant for me comes up to say, this is the time for you to make your decisions based on your beliefs. What do you believe? What are your ethics? What are your morals? And to align with the people, places, and things, the options that are aligned with those ethics and those morals. As long as you're doing this, you're not going to make the wrong decisions. You can rest assured knowing that you're choosing the right thing for yourself because you're choosing based on your, your moral compass, your inner compass right of the things that you value and that you hold dear the things that are um uh aligned with your priorities your principles uh your beliefs your faith right and so the hierophant encourages us to avoid fear-based decisions and to make faith-based and belief-based principle-based decisions instead This next card is not surprising in the least bit for me at all. The fact that you all have this coming up, <laughs> not surprising, is the Four of Swords. So, Four of Swords oftentimes comes up for me in readings when, um, like, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, sometimes even physically, you've been through the ringer. Like you've been through a lot and you might be putting some really, really heavy goals on yourself because you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, you know what? Now I got to overcome what I've been through. I've got to put it past me. I got to focus on where I want to be. I have to focus on these goals. I got to get my money right. I got to get my uh, relationships right. I got to get my physical appearance right or whatever it might be and you start putting these like self-improvement goals in front of you or these career goals or financial goals in front of you and you start pushing really hard to achieve these things and your angels and guides are like hold on now wait a minute slow down there tiger <coughs> excuse me before you can go getting this heavy work done you need to take a moment for rest. You need to take a moment to process all that you've been through because you have been through a lot. And you need to recover and recharge uh, from all of those experiences before you can hit the ground running. Before you can get in, that candle just went out, that's confirmation for you right there, right? Before your candle goes out, you gotta, you gotta rest here. You got to uh, refill your lamp with oil. You know, you've got to recharge here, uh, re-energize re yourself. You need to rest, okay? Four of Swords is like a time where prayer and meditation are very important for you. I feel some of you are having an inner conflict between... Uh, religion and belief that was taught to you in childhood and the way life has gone that has made you question what you were taught versus maybe some newer concepts or metaphysical um, beliefs and you're trying to figure out what you believe and you're trying to reconcile these things in your mind and so the quickest and easiest way to do that for a lot of you is going to be to be still, to rest, to, to go inward, to spend time in prayer, to spend time in meditation. Maybe some of you are very confused in that you've been asking for a lot of guidance or you've been asking for a lot of advice. You know, 
maybe you're going to different uh, churches, different spiritual teachers, different, um, you know, spiritual gurus, and maybe you're doing a lot of reading and a lot of researching, and you're trying to get down to the bottom of what, what makes sense, and, you know, a lot of it is already written in your heart, it's, the blueprint is in your heart, it's already inside of you, and all of this other stuff that we go outward complicates it, confuses us, pulls us further away from it, oftentimes puts a human being in between us and God. And so the Four of Swords is like, look, just chill out for a little bit, rest, take time to pray, take time to meditate, take time to release, go within, and you're going to find the answers. They're, they're in your heart. They're written on your heart. And so a lot of you are going to get very clear about what your beliefs and your ethics and your priorities and morals are. Uh, you just need this time to be still and go within. I feel that journaling is also going to be helpful to a lot of you. I feel some of you may also be feeling pulled or called specifically towards lakes. Like, I know Pisces, you guys are water. You love water. I'm a Scorpio. I love water. I get that, but I feel some of you are specifically feeling called to like lakes, like mountainous regions, mountain lakes, um, so maybe some of you will take a, a trip if at all possible or if you can, uh, you know, clear your calendar and take a day or so if there are mountains or lakes near you that you can get to within driving distance. Some of you may be feeling led or guided to do that. Or like camp out and just kind of be in that nature, be in that energy and like clear your head and plan your steps moving forward. But I feel here like a lot of you are um, really looking at like where do you want to have your focus? What are your priorities? You know, do I really still want what I'm working towards? Do I want something else? What do I believe? Right? Right? Um, I feel a lot of loneliness here too that you're going to be bridging uh, or like aligning with it could be friendships right people that share the beliefs and the values as you're figuring them out it could be a committed relationship but just a sense of like you know figuring out where is your place where is your place where is your uh, click you know um, you're figuring that out. That's what I feel like in like everything else is falling into place. You may want to check out your moon sign and your rising sign. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, if you want more of a love reading or romance uh, information, you may want to check out the love readings for July that I have linked in the description of this video. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. And for those of you who don't know, every single day I do a daily message uh, by popular demand. A lot of people have been asking me to pull a daily card. So if you feel like you want to start your day off with a message, be sure to check out the daily messages as well. I hope you all have a fabulous, amazing week ahead. Hopefully I'll see you all in the daily messages as well. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care, Pisces. Bye, my dears.